Hello guys, um, in this video we are going to show you some of the features we have in IRDS. Uh, first, we have uh, already uh, added the IRDS manager into the scene using uh, this option here. Um, so you just need to select this. We are going to start adding the track limits. Uh, you could choose to add the racing and the track limits at once at the same time we are going to do this by toggling this option here uh, now I'm just going to hold on uh, the shift button on the keyboard and then use the uh, mouse button the mouse right button to add the markers I'm going to uh, add one here and here and so on until we get the full track okay I'm going to show the markers uh, and here you can see uh, the actual virtual track shape um, now I'm going to also um, show all the handles we have these are the handles for the track limits only if we select the racing line then we we see the racing line um, handles instead I'm going to adjust first the track limits so it's closer to the shape of the road or the track in this case um, you can also change or adjust the width of the of the track or the of the virtual track uh, with this value here we are going to use 20 um, I'm going to move the markers so we match a little bit more the track shape uh, you can see that everything is uh, updated in real time on the editor in the scene view so you can actually see how what you are moving is affecting everything in there um, I'm going to insert a point here using this option and holding shift and right click with the mouse button with the right mouse button and we're going to adjust this a little bit more okay other things you can do is um, you can for example adjust individually uh, the offset of the track limit to better you know cover the shape of the actual uh, model of the track uh, you can also change the control points of the spline to better match the shape of the of the track model also you have these two squares in here uh, if I for example click in this one and turns green it links the offset so if I move this it will move both together um, the same is for the control points if I click this you will notice that there is only now one single circle and when you move it both sides move at the same time also it's really important that the shape of the virtual track is as m close as possible at the real uh, model of the track because um, those lines takes the uh, uh, the normal for pointing those little points that makes this um, white uh, sorry the yellow line in there which is the track limits and that's used for uh, the AI knowing where all the other cars in, are in the track so that needs to be pretty accurate uh, now I'm going to adjust 
the racing line I'm going to delete some points of the racing line because there are too many you need to make the racing line as smooth as possible uh, because the system will calculate for you the maximum speeds on on the curves and on all the track so if you have way too much control points of, uh, for the ESPA line uh, well you know the the line won't be that smooth and also your track won't have a really smooth uh, speed calculation so that's pretty much what you need then you just hit the process all tracks data what this does is calculate all those maximum speeds in there uh, you can see that it has been calculated because the racing line turns at some points red in others orange and at some points where it's uh, allow it to to get maximum speed you will see it turning into green in this track since it's really really uh, an oval and pretty much everything it's on on curves you won't see a green a green line in here but if you have something that it's more uh, flat you will see um, that it will turn green for example in here it's it's getting a little bit more yellow um, from there what you need to know is uh, where is the starting point of the track which you just need to select this point here and do you know where the cars are going to run to because this blue arrow here points the forward direction of the starting point so the cars will will start racing that way uh, you need to put the grid points or the starting points behind that that point in there so I'm going to just do that by selecting this and this option and holding shift and right click to add the grid points or spawning points you can notice that the system also align these points to the racing line so you don't have to do that yourself and also aligns the points with the normal of the surface you are putting it on so you don't have to adjust that neither um, now we are going to add the camera the road cameras um, and that's pretty much it just hit process all tracks and make sure you have a level load in there uh, with the car settings at least in the default mode when you have that without setting anything in here what the system will do is that it will look for the resources folder and cars folders which, which is the default folder for having the cars you want uh, the system to pick from for assigning to the AI and the player in this case for the player I have uh, the selected car name exactly the same as the prefab we are going to use and that's pretty much it you just may want to hide the markers so they don't show a uh, play mode and just hit play and that's it well thank you for watching